all are welcome to my channel technical ori now our today's topic is priority queue using heme so in this video we are discussing about the priority queue then we are discussing about how can we implement the priority queue using heme data structure let's start what is priority queue first of all as a name says priority that means obviously relation with the priority now next is queue we know what is a queue data structure maintain the fifo first in first out but priority queue is not a strictly maintain the fifo first in first out not strictly maintain the fifo yes as a name says priority queue but here strictly priority queue is not maintained the fifo data structure fifo property next elements have the priority that means every elements in the priority queue have its have some own priority every elements of the priority queue have some own priority next insertion and deletion is done on the basis of the priority we can insert and we can delete on the basis of the priority of the elements so next and the next point is elements have the higher priority we are deleted first again i repeat the four points of the priority queue first priority queue is not a is not strictly maintain the fifo data structure or fifo property second point elements have some priority that means every elements of the priority queue have have some priority next insertion and deletion is done on the basis of the priority of the elements insertion and deletion we are do on the basis of the priority of the elements fourth point elements have some have the higher priority we are deleted first element having the higher priority we are deleted first so this is the our four points of the priority queue now as we know for the our target is that to finding the higher priority finding the higher priority elements now for implementing the this higher priority we have a two way again i repeat for implementing this higher priority we have a two ways what are the two ways now we are discuss first way smaller number having the higher priority smaller number that means which number is small is having the higher priority here no another thing another is that larger number having the higher priority so what is a two way there is a two way for implementing the higher priority what is a two way first way says smaller number having the higher priority and next way larger number having the higher priority now now normally normally we can say that this is a array okay here it is a array just it is a array same array we are taking the two times now we can say that here we are that means number itself is the own priority number is represent the own priority that means what is the priority of the 8 8 what is the priority of the 5 5 what is the priority of 4 4 what is the priority of 10 10 what is the priority of 11 11 number is itself represent its own priority here in priority queue now now that means now what is the first way we are discussing about the first way of implementing the higher priority first way says that smaller number having the higher priority what is the smaller number between of this array four that means four is the having the higher priority so we are inserted four first now another way larger number having the higher priority what is the largest number of this array 11 so 11 is inserted first this is the process now now we are using heme data structure for implementing the priority queue why why you are using the heme what is the requirement of the heme here requirement is that if you are normally i can say you that is this array okay if you insert an element what is the time taken what is the time taken minimum now how many comparison are there for an example we are inserted here for an example 
So how many? What is the comparison? N. That means maximum n comparison. Maximum n comparison we are taken. Or if we had asked you uh, that please delete the eleven. How many time taken? Again, was in worst case taking the almost n n comparison at there. Almost n times. That is order of n. Again, in this array, this is the same array. So for this array also, insertion taking the order of n times. Same way for deletion. In, in worst case, also taking the order of n times. That means huge time taken here. Now our target is that in data structure we must use the data structure as taking the less time and which is efficient. Which obviously we can recommend this data structure which is taking the less time as well as efficient for representing the elements. Okay. So now. What is the advantage of the using heap? Heap in the advantage of the using heap, advantage of the using heap, if you are taking, take the order of log n times, taking the less time. What is the time taken in the array? N. If we are taking the heap, min heap or max heap, taking the order of log n times, delete or insert, taking the log n times. That's why. So now if you are to look, the time is reduced from n to log n. Your time is reduced. So that is the reason we are using the heap for representing the priority queue. Representing the priority queue. Now, you have a question, sir. Which queue are used? How can you find? Which queue are you? Sorry, which heap are we used? Either min heap or max heap. How can you find? Rule says that if you are say the smaller number having the higher priority, that means we are taking maximum, sorry, minimum name number having the higher priority. We are using the min heap. We are using the min heap. Same way, if you say sir, that larger number having the higher priority, use that means the maximum number having the higher priority. Use the max heap. This is a max heap. This is a min heap. Now, how can you create a min heap? How can you create a max heap? I already show you on my previous video how to can we create a max heap. Same way, the just condition is different. Condition is just opposite for the min heap. What is the condition? Every time the parent is smallest, parent is smaller than his child. This is the condition. And the condition for max heap is every time parent is the greater than his child and root having the maximum element in the min heap. In the min heap, the root having the minimum element. In the max heap, the root having the maximum element. This is a procedure. So that's why, so this is the representation of the priority queue with using the heap. So I think it is clear up to you that how can you represent the priority queue in data structure. Thanks for watching my video.